In this video, what we're going to do is to look at how we draw our Cartesian system using two different scales. All right. So here, the scales that we're going to use is that two centimeter to represent one unit on the x-axis and one centimeter to represent one unit on the y-axis. So again, on your graph paper, you're going to draw a vertical line to represent your y-axis. So let me draw my vertical line here. So you take your ruler to draw a straight line. All right, like that. And then you are going to use your ruler to draw another straight line. But this time horizontally to intersect your vertical line at 90 degrees. All right. Like this. Okay. So there you have your two lines, your y-axis, your x-axis. So the next thing that you are going to do is to ensure that you label your axis. All right, so this is my y-axis. And I know that this is going to be my x-axis. Now that I have labeled my axes, what I need to do now, I'm going to put on the scale on the x-axis. So they say that I must use two centimeter to represent one unit, right? So by now, everyone should know what two centimeter looks like. So you identify your origin, which is where both the x and the y-axis intersect each other. This is our origin, right? And what we're going to do, you're going to take your ruler to measure from the origin horizontally what two centimeter is. For every two centimeter that you measure, you're going to put a stroke on the x-axis to represent that. What you should know is that it will take 10 of these small strokes to make two centimeter. So I'm just going to count off every 10. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to put a stroke there to indicate. From that stroke, I'm going to count 10 more. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's where I put the nut strokes and count another 10 will take me right here count another 10 will take me right here count another 10 will take me right here and i will do that for this side of the x-axis as well so it's going to be from the origin 10 small boxes will take me here from this line 10 small boxes will take me here from this line, 10 small boxes will take me here. And from this line, 10 small boxes will take me here. So note that the distance between the stroke are from one stroke to the next. When you measure it, you should get two centimeter. So that means we will take, would have taken care of the two centimeter part. One unit now suggests that we are counting by one. So for every two centimeter, we put in one. So if this is zero, the first stroke here has to be one, then the second has to be two, three, four, five, all right? Because this is negative x-axis, it's going to be negative one here, negative two, negative three, and negative four. And that's how you would put on the scale on the x-axis that says two centimeter to represent one unit. Now to the y-axis, you have to be careful because it's a different scale. So they are saying to us that we must use one centimeter to represent one unit. Now, 
as I would have pointed out in previous videos done on this topic, that it takes five of the small boxes to make one centimeter. So for every five that you count from the origin, you are going to put a stroke on the y-axis to represent that y cent one centimeter. So let's do this. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So put a stroke there. That's the first one centimeter. From this stroke, you count another five. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So that's another one centimeter. From this stroke, count another five. It will take us here. From this stroke, count another five. It will take us here. And we do the same thing for this side of the y-axis. So from the origin, count five down. It will take us here. Count five small boxes, take us here, five, count another five, and mark off, count another five, mark off, count another five, mark off, count another five, mark off. So that is putting on the one centimeter on the y-axis. The unit now suggests that we are counting by one, so it's just going to be one, two, three, four here. And this one, it's going to be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, and negative six. So this is how you would draw your Cartesian coordinate system using two different scale and the axes. So on the x-axis, x -axis, it's two centimeter to represent one unit. And the y-axis, it is one centimeter to represent one unit. And as you can see, the distance between the strokes are different. So you can see that the distance between the stroke and the x are two times the distance between the stroke and the y. All right? Thank you for watching and do enjoy the rest of your day.